All right, now, uh, conspiracy theories. I love conspiracy theories uh, and theorists because they're fruitcakes. And, uh, you know, they're nut wings or wing nuts. Uh, it's just that simple. And uh, my favorite one, and you would think the one that would be sort of the most outlandish out there are the flat earthers. Right? The world is flat. Okay. I mean, how, how crazy is that, right? How do intelligent people somehow believe the world is flat? Well, there is a guy by the name of Mark Sargent, who's a software analyst, uh, lives in Seattle. And he is one of the big organizers of the movement. And he's made more than a thousand videos. How do you make a thousand videos proving the world is flat? So uh, back in 2015, this is two years ago, uh, when he typed flat earth into the YouTube of some of his videos, uh, if you did that, you get eh, he'd get 50,000 hits. That's a lot of people. Now it's 2018. He's at 18.7 million people beating out Lady Gaga and almost at Donald Trump levels. And he says there are millions more, uh, but they're in the closet because uh, they want to avoid ridicule. Really? Why would you ridicule anybody that believes the world is flat and not round? And uh, he, he explains it, uh, number one, because uh, no one believes science anymore. News is fake. Anything that's anti-religious is uh, somehow uh, isn't to be believed. And, of course, uh, a lot of this flat earth stuff is based on religion. Uh, because you talk about, and they actually say this. Right, the four corners of the world, stepping stone, the earth to, to uh, God. I mean, just weird stuff. And so, by the way, the flat earth uh, uh, aspect goes back to the Bronze Age. I mean, that's when the earth was flat. That's when they started flat earthing. And then you had the Greek philosophers and mathematicians, Ptolemy, or Aristotle, Pythagoras, and then you had Copernicus, and uh, you had all of those uh, medieval uh, or Renaissance scientists. And they said, okay, now we can prove uh, the world is, the planet is round. I mean, it's right there. It goes to, back to ancient Greece. Oh, no. Uh, Nathan Nichols, who's one of these uh, flat earthers, uh, rattled off at one of these meetings proofs for a flat earth. And why does the world look curved from high altitude? It's because of the wide-angle lenses. It's the camera lenses, those fisheye lenses that make everything look uh, sort of roundish. And ships disappear over the horizon, uh, not because the earth is curved, is because uh, it's the limits of human vision. Uh-huh. Some believers say the earth is surrounded by a wall of ice holding back the seas. Because remember, something has to hold back those seas. Huh. And circumnavigating the world is simply traveling around in a big circle. But a flat circle. Because remember, you just have to be inside that wall of ice, and you've gone around the world. Of course, if you're going to go the other way, uh, that's a problem. If you want to go around the world, uh, is would that be perpendicular to uh, the flat Earth? Yeah, that's a little bit more uh, problematic. And you, you wonder, how is this possible? How do people think that way? Uh, here's another one. And there's a lot of uh, flat Earthers believe this. Uh, and Sargent says this, you're not a little tiny speck of rock flying through this endless, incomprehensible universe. You're not small. The earth is beneath a dome that God created. Boy, does that sound like a sci-fi movie. It was built just for you. All the world's a stage. You're in it. You're on a ride. It's part stage. It's part terrarium. It's part planetarium. But it's very deliberate. God created this. Just for you. And the world is singular. Oh, here's my favorite one. I'm running out of time. I, I love this. Hold on a minute. Where's uh, one of the big ones? And this is, uh, incidentally, not, not a, a guy who is not followed, right? Uh, this is a guy by the name Bob Nodal, a 57-year-old engineer, has uh, a series called Globe Busters, more than 2.6 million views on uh, YouTube. The sun is about... 3,419.5 miles away, by my calculation. It's not a burning ball of hydrogen gas. It's electrostatic energy. And we really don't know how it's powered. Millions and millions of people 
believe this. Wow. Okay, coming up, pot news. Wayne joins me, and we are going to go through.